Hi there. In this video, we are going to talk about how can we implement wait in Postman. If you might have worked in other automation project, at times what we do is we wait for certain state to be achieved before proceeding. Okay, so that is very important. And what we do is we keep on pulling, right? Whether the uh, the required condition has been met or not. The moment we get the notification that yes it is being met we move on else we keep on waiting all right so what we do is we decide the amount of time until we wait if within the time the state has been changed to what we are expecting to we'll move on else we'll take a decision what to do next do we need to terminate the whole program or we just skip this particular module and move on to the next module right so you know all that now we are going to see how can we implement wait or delay in postman okay so in the last video what we have done is we have created the retry logic so i'm going to use the same code and going to extend this further okay so let me go to postman this is the request we worked on in the last video and what we are going to do next is so as you could see that what we are doing is we are immediately sending the request okay now we are going to add something in here uh, which is going to add some delay before we send this request so one one example could be for example you know uh, let's say you have created a resource okay and you're expecting its state to be changed to something all right so the resource is changed the resource is created but the state has not been changed right so you will wait until the state has been changed to the specific value you are looking for and you will keep on pulling right after let's say every 500 millisecond 1000 millisecond depends upon you know how how quick that resource state would be updated okay so they are basically couple of ways we can implement that and let's see what are these ways so first one is with the help of javascript what you can do is you can use the set timeout function okay so it, it has two parameters so first one is your function that you have to pass in here and second is uh, the time so if you want to wait for two seconds and then send the request so what we are going to do is inside this we are going to write postman dot set next request and whatever request that we want to send after every two seconds. But I have wrapped them inside this retry count of three. So if the state is changed within three times, great. Else we have to take a decision what to do next. Okay. So rather than running it into infinite loop, better is to control the count, the iteration you want to execute this okay um now this is what we did in our retry logic so this is the extra piece of code that you have to write the other option we have is to make use of postman echo service all right so postman echo is a service you can use to test your rest clients and we'll go there so now what we are going to do is here we are going to use one function provided by postman postman dot send request so this is the only uh, way we can send asynchronous request within postman so when i say asynchronous what does that mean so in postman what happens is so let's say you have three requests arranged in the order let's say their name their names are a b and c so a is at the top c is at the bottom and b is in the middle right so once we get the response of a then only request b will be triggered and once we get the response of b then only request c will be triggered so they are executing in the synchronous manner right this is how uh, when we run our request through collection owner or newman this is the order that is being followed so all these requests are executed in the synchronous manner what is asynchronous so you send the request a 
right the response is not returned but then you want to execute request b okay so that's called as asynchronous nature the only option we have in postman to run asynchronous code is with the help of pm.send request basically so code in the sense the only way you can send asynchronous request in postman is with the help of pm.send request so here what we are going to do is we are going to make use of postman dot eco service okay and you could see that postman has provided this uh, in, in the eco service they have provided a lot of utilities and one such utility is delay and then you provide a value in here and that represents the seconds okay and what we are going to do next is if there is an error we log the error uh, when you send uh, pm dot send request when you, so the first parameter is the url right and when you send the url next is a callback function so either you get the error or you get the response if you get the error you log that error if you get the uh, in, in case of response or else then what we are going to do is uh, we are going to set our next request to whatever request we want to send okay so this is how again we can introduce two seconds of lag all right so let's go to postman and check that out so the first one is uh okay so first uh, also uh let's check the uh postman echo site as well echo yeah let's go here docs dot postman echo and here you will find the delay and other utilities okay so you see the utilities in here delay in the response so that's what you can use use this endpoint one can figure out how long it takes for the server to come back with the response okay uh, there are other utilities as well in terms of uh, getting the time you know time step validity uh, time addition time subtraction okay uh, there are a lot of things if you can scroll down right so instead of writing your own code right so object representation provide the timestamp and you get the object representation back once you have the javascript object you know how to use it using member access operator right this is gonna help you a lot in writing your assertions all right without writing any javascript code so go through this document you will find it helpful okay so what we are going to do next is what was the first one right so first one was with the help of javascript right so we're going to make use of set timeout function right simple so we're going to say set uh, timeout yeah so you see that now and okay so you see uh, there are two arguments that you have to pass first one is the callback function and second is the number in milliseconds okay so this is how you're going to define your callback function and then the second is your time let's say i want to delay it by 2000 milliseconds and here what i want to do is so i want to send this request here after every two seconds for three times basically okay and then again like i mentioned in the previous video you can add your logic uh, this particular video will help you in mentioning that you know you can implement the wait and retries okay so i've already created a video on retry so this is on the wait part all right so now let's save that and run that through the collection runner and let's see if we see any weight or difference between two requests you see it is taking time right so now all three requests are sent but there was a lag of two seconds between each request okay that's our option number one okay so i'm going to comment this out can i add comments multi-line comments 
try using this syntax javascript syntax for adding multi-line comment the other option we'll have is of pm dot send request and in that what do we have to do so first is our request so the as url that we have to add and second is our callback so how do we write callback write callback like this okay so here what we are going to do we are going to use this delay uh, delay response let me use this come here put it there right and then what do we want so there will be a delay of two seconds and then there could be error or there could be response so if i say if there is any error i'll simply log that into the console if no error so means the else block what do we want to do we want to send this request that is it let's save that and this time let's make it four let's save that uh, open our collection runner it can't run let's see if it works and let's yeah second after four seconds there will be one more right so see so these are the two ways uh, i'm aware of if you know more uh, please mention that in the comments thank you so much i guess